Hey everyone, this is Joey Bushnell of the Social Media Marketing Academy.com. In this video, I'm just going to give you my opinion on what the best keyword research tool is out there on the market today. And very quickly before we get into all that, I just want to let you know why keyword research is essential. It's because if you want to get free traffic on the internet, then all the traffic flow revolves around keywords, okay? It's about what people are typing in to the search engines or typing in on a website and looking for. And if your content is not based around that keyword, then it's never going to get found. So the reason why you need a keyword research tool is because if you are doing business online and you are looking to rank for certain keywords, then if you're guessing what keywords to go for, then you might rank for a keyword which isn't getting many searches. So we need to do two things. We need to find which keywords have high traffic, okay? So which keywords have lots of people typing them in, searching for them day in, day out. And then the second thing we need to know is we need to know which keywords have low competition because we could try compete for the highest traffic keyword that there is but then find that there are tons of other people out there competing with us to rank for that keyword as well which makes life very difficult if, if we get a, a high traffic keyword which is you know super super highly competitive then we don't have much chance to rank for it because there's, there's a good chance that somebody has already been there for a couple of years and has taken that spot so what we need to do is we need to find high traffic keywords which have low competition and the tool which I use to do this is a tool called Market Samurai. It's what I recommend. It's what I use for my own keyword research. A lot of people that I know in the industry, they all use this tool as well. And so this is what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. So here is Market Samurai. And what I'm going to do first of all is you need to know roughly what your content is about and that's where you start. So for example, this video, I'm going to want to try and rank it. So I am going to put this onto YouTube and again keyword research is essential for YouTube it's essential for a blog post it's essential for any content that you have so I am going to go with keyword research tool okay so this video if you found your way here and you're watching it there's a good chance that you may have typed that in or something similar so I'm just going to click create this page and all we do here is come down to the keyword research section and you can see here that I've got keyword research tool in this little box now the good thing about this tool is it will generate other keywords which are similar so that it's not just this keyword which I find statistics for but also lots of related keywords as well so I'm going to click this button here generate keywords and this will take a couple of minutes I'm just going to pause the video and I'll let you know when the results come in okay so now I have a list of 80 keywords which this tool has suggested to me which are relevant to my YouTube video that I'm gonna make so I can basically browse through these words and see which ones are most relevant to me if there are any that aren't relevant then it's nice and easy just to get rid of them from the list so for example free keyword analysis tool in this video I'm not talking about a free keyword analysis tool I'm talking about a paid for one so actually that keyword is not relevant to me so I just click the X over here and I can get rid of those keywords which aren't relevant to me okay but it's brought up a big list of very relevant keywords here best keyword research tools good keyword software how to do keyword research keyword discovery tools keyword suggestion tools keyword popularity tools, keyword SEO tools, keyword SEO software. You can see that you know, clearly all of these keywords are, are very relevant to me and to the video that I'm creating right now. So the next stage is to go over here to keyword analysis. And what I do is I'm going to basically get some more in-depth statistics on these keywords that are in my list. So all I need to do is click analyze keywords and again this may take a couple of minutes so I'm gonna just pause the video here and I'll be back with you in just a second okay so here are the results and what I'm gonna do first of all is I'm just gonna click here this this column here tells me how many searches there are per day so obviously this one at the top here is is great because it's got 13 almost 14,000 searches per day on that keyword and this column here 
is the competition. So this basically analyzes how many websites on the internet have that keyword on. Okay, so it will tell you how competitive it is. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to order this column in terms of traffic, as in who gets the most traffic, and then I'm going to look at the competitors column. So a keyword tool got got a lot of searches for that, and there's not a great deal of competition to be honest. Forty two thousand is not massive. That's not something that's impossible to compete with. Keywords tool is the next one with four thousand. Again, not huge. You know, it might sound like a lot, but from someone that does SEO for a living, 161,000 is not actually the, you know, the most competitive thing in the world. For example here, keyword research tool, that gets 374 searches per day, which is obviously, again, very high traffic, but it's got a million competition, which is obviously, you know, there's a big jump between a million and, and 160,000 or 42,000. So all I would do is go through this list of keywords and find a keyword which really basically has a lot of traffic and doesn't have too much competition so for example this one here a keyword tool that seems on on first glance with that we've just I haven't looked for everything yet but on first glance that looks like a very very good keyword for me now we've got all this other information here for example this t would tell me if I was going to do Google AdWords this will tell me how much I would be paying per click roughly if I was to rank for this keyword so it tells me how valuable this keyword is to me if I was uh, going to be trying to do some Google AdWords it's also got a column here as well which is which gives you the SEO value and what this tells you is if you were number one in Google for this particular keyword it tells you what kind of money you could potentially be earning so this one here is apparently worth 18,000 pounds per day if I can get to the very top of the search engines for that tool. Now, I'm not going to try to do that because I'd imagine that although there's only 42,000 competitors, those that are competing are probably competing extremely hard. So, for example, I would imagine that Market Samurai are one of those websites that are competing for that phrase, and as are all the rest of the keyword tools out there because when someone searches that, they want people to buy their software. So, things can be deceiving. There's lots of things that go into this, but it's just great. You know, this is a, this is a really easy way that you can find keywords which are relevant to your content, and then you can find which ones have the most traffic and which ones have low competition. And there's all these other things that you can do on here as well. For example, this tab over here, if I just click generate results, what it does is it gives me the results on the top 10 for that keyword, and it will analyze the websites which are currently ranking. Uh, in the top 10 of Google for that particular keyword so here are the results okay and what it does is it is it gives me information on all the keywords which are on all these top 10 websites and so that gives me some idea on what I need to do to actually compete so you can see here that they've most of them this is column here is the page rank most of them have a page rank of five or four or three down at the lower end there domain age it tells me how long this domain has been registered Again, for SEO purposes, the longer you've had a, a domain, the better. Okay, so here's one coming at number four that has has had this domain for 14 years. So you know they're quite trusted by Google by that time. You've got you know there's there's lots of things here. Okay, you've got things like how many people are linking in. So in terms of off-page SEO, you can work out what kind of uh, amount of links do you need to basically compete with these websites. Okay. And it's got a whole lot more. I can't go through every single little thing because the video will just be too long. But the long story is it's a great way. Once you've found your keywords, you can then go into the SEO competition part of this tool and basically see, is it realistic that I can compete for this keyword? And if it is, then you can easily try to rank for that keyword and claim all the traffic that is coming for that keyword. So I highly recommend that you get Market Samurai. It's the keyword tool that I use. I absolutely love it. It's earned me a lot of money. It's helped my clients to make a lot of money, uh, which in turn makes me more money. So if you are doing business online, you absolutely have to have a keyword research tool of some kind. The free Google AdWords keyword tool is very limited in what it can tell you, and it just doesn't cut it. If you are a serious player in search marketing, then you have to get an advanced keyword research tool. There are lots out there on the market, but for me, Market Samurai is the best that I've used. It's what I use, and it's what I recommend to other people.